I've got four options for Beluga's best pet to eat. We've got Lionfish, Walrus, Niala, and Sabretooth. Which of those do you think it is? Let me know if you think it's none of the above. But I think it's one of those four, and we're going to investigate that here today. Hope you enjoy. All right, you know how I feel about Marmoset. They're okay, but <laughs> I don't think they're going to get as much win here. Much win. They might. We'll see. It's entirely possible. All right, just kidding. This guy's trolling. He's running three mods. All right, we love it. Go here, roll me. I think we do this. I wouldn't mind getting him a level two moth. Honestly, I think level three moth is a little excessive, but we could rock with a level two. Oh, hello. All right, start me here and here, just so we know what we're working with. Okay, I'll tell you what I think. I think Dolphin early is very good. I think we go here. Toad is also fairly good. So maybe we set up a Toad here. Maybe grab a Honey on somebody. Honey works very well with Toad, as does Dolphin. Okay, that works. Not the most satisfying of battles, but that'll get us there. So I think we go honey on you. Maybe throw you here. Just help trigger the, the weakness, assuming it's earlier on. And yeah, we'll grab a moth. Why not? Mm, just roll me. Kind of a fan of guinea pig lately. I think it's pretty strong this week. Ooh, got him. Just kidding. We got got. <laughs> they got us in return. Alright. Time to do our little our little pivot maneuver here. We go here. We roll. There it is. Love to see it. I mean, Lynx with the guinea pig seems to make a good bit of sense. Maybe we do that. Oh, baby. All right. We could sell the moth in level three right now, but I don't see a whole lot of reason to do that. Just being straight up with you. I think this is perfectly fine. Maybe we'll get another Lynx. That would be awesome. All right. That's a pretty good snipe. And the honey gets us there. Not like it, we needed it, but perfectly breaks the melon. Okay, so Moth can go. Let's get a level up here. I mean, I'm down to run an old mouse. I am not above running old mouse here. <laughs> no sorry. Let's try it. What do we get? Rolling? Probably not going to use that one. This is one of those few I think is actually like you need to get level two old mouse for it to work. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Maybe we ought to do it like this here. Um, so let's see if we can find some more old mouse with that in mind. I mean, there's also just penguin. Maybe that makes more sense than old mouse. Ooh, definitely. I would double stack penguin here, but we only have one pet that's above level two, or I guess above level one. Okay. That'll do. That'll do just fine. Okay, now we can get some level ups here. And then here. How do we want to do this? Probably ditch the guinea pig. It is a lot of hit. Well, it's two damage on our links. I guess that's not that much. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Two damage turns out like it's not, not actually that much. Okay, we'll go here. I mean, I'd love to run a Nurikabe here, but I just don't think that's going to be the play. I love that we hit the penguin. 
I've been meaning to try blue beluga whale for a while. Maybe we give it a shot. Oh, this is gonna be. Uh, fine. Yeah. Okay. Weird. <laughs> So hard to gauge it when you got snipes out here. I never really know what to think. Okay, well, Lynx is cool and all. I think we get rid of him. We haven't gotten quite enough support for him to really, really hit it home, you know? Okay, well, how do you not do this, right? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This is perfect. I'm sure y'all can see what's happening here, but <laughs> if not, you'll see shortly. Ooh. Dang, that Pegasus got us. That guy's pretty good. Level you. And then, I mean, we could Lionfish too, but I think Niall is better. Maybe give you a chili. Right, and then we go... Try to get a penguin cooking a little bit. So at this point, we're looking for a vaquita. Just straight up, that's what, that's what we need here. That'll do. A dog gets us there. We could stack another Niala. That might be a little much. Or maybe it's not. Niala is very good. All right, let's try it. <laughs> let's do it. Ooh. We go here. Throw an orange in the mix. I don't think a level three camel is going to be the play. Camel is kind of just like a a weird sort of cleanup pet at this point. Yeah, get him. <laughs> Taking him out. Ooh, Monty almost got him. But we're good. Start me here. I mean, straight up. Walrus is just really good here. I think it's got to be this. Okay. This feels like it's going to be pretty good, right? If we get a Vaquita, that would be awesome too. But, I mean, honestly, we don't need one really. Lovely. <laughs> and we had the penguin with the peanuts just in case. Just in case anyone got through. Roll me. We're going another Niala? Getting a little crazy out here. <laughs> but I guess we're doing it. Okay. So here's where we have to ask ourselves. Are we doing a Vaquita thing here? You know, do we ditch the dolphin? It's a lot of stats. It is. But we gotta really commit if we're gonna do it. I think we do though. Okay, here's what I think we do. I think we set it up like this. Like that, I think. It's getting a little weird with the with the walrus. Because if our penguin gets sniped, we're kind of out of luck on the peanuts. So if the peanuts get sniped, it can also go on somebody else. Doesn't have to necessarily go behind. Ooh, if the, if the Vaquita didn't get sniped, we may have had him there. Such is the name of the game, though. Okay, Beluga Whale. We could try it on a Sabertooth. We already have these homies cooking. Maybe we do this. You know, just get a big old Sabertooth cooking back here. That seems kind of good. 
Okay, <laughs> who do we want to level up on? This is a big question. We could get the Sabertooth level 3, or we could get any of these homies level 3. What, Nyala is how much? 24 trumpets? Or we could stack Walrus. Walrus kind of seems like the safer play here. I think we do Walrus. That may be a mistake. We can debate about it, <laughs> but we'll start here. And I'm not impervious to making mistakes out here, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's funny, sometimes I get comments that are like, that was the worst decision ever, or whatever, but they, they don't tell me which part was wrong. <laughs> They're just like, so many mistakes. It was like, yeah, of course there are. <laughs> I'm not like, amazing at the game. I just find it funny. Don't get me wrong though, if, if it's like timestamped, like, hey, I think you should have done this here, that's awesome. I appreciate that, because that's how I actually learn how to play the game. It's just when it's the vague, <laughs> you're playing bad. <laughs> like, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. It's true. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not, but I don't know what you want me to do about it either if you're not going to tell me what's wrong. Okay. This is looking a little iffy. A <laughs> little iffy. Can the saber tooth get us there? Actually pretty close, but no. <laughs> okay, this is the kind of team though. Maybe we should have led with the walrus. That might have been the better way to do it, since these guys were pretty weak. We could have gotten through their big guys early. I think if I were to replay that, I think you lead with the walrus. Instead of having it as like a backup. And then let your beluga homie just like kind of go to town with the saber tooth. All right, Moth doesn't scale up very well, but I think like as a standalone unit, it's pretty good. Some gasping tanks. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Balloon, we go here, here. Got a level for next turn. Probably don't need a mouse. Okay. This ain't looking too hot, but we'll see. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Why would you run so many mods? That's not gonna work. My team is terrible and we still beat you. Alright, level me. Always go dolphin if you get it on turn three. It's just so good. Okay. We could refresh the ferret toy, but I think we just do a rocket like this. It's tough because you don't want, like you want the moth on a low health guy, but you want the balloon on somebody you're keeping. So it's kind of a toss up. I mean, I guess the moth up front wouldn't be bad. You just hope they don't have moths. They've got basically the equivalent of mods. Okay, roll me. We're gonna play their game. The just overwrite everything with ailments build. <laughs> the one that everybody loves. Roll me. Level you. Early dragonfly is always good. Always good unless it isn't. We can sell Marmoset. We already have a moth here. I was gonna say, maybe we should hold off and get a guinea pig out here. And I'm glad we did. We go here. I mean, this has to be a sell on the dolphin, right? We may lose this turn, but it's going to be well worth it, I think. I don't like either of these. I think we just say thanks, but no thanks. Call it a day. That's not going to work. 
always a weird power curve when you have a moth. You know, you, you don't want to go your big dude up front, because the moth attack is kind of being wasted. Uh, we can definitely give you garlic. Can you give you a meat bone? Not too bad. I think we can run it like this, though. Maybe like that? Hold on. Do like that. <laughs> so Frost Wolf goes. The cold gets triggered by Dragonfly. Hopefully killing them. We'll see, though. And then we just kind of cook. Is the general plan. It like kind of worked. <laughs> it didn't hit the frost, it killed the rabbit, but same difference, I guess. So let's give you an egg so you can even more activate frost here. And I think we're just looking for our scalers right now until we can pivot into a late game setup. We're not finding any scalers. There's one. I mean, high key, this is just better. Jesus. These snipes are coming out in full force here. Okay. Give me a level. Narikabe or a wolf? Let's just slot in a wolf here. Unless we go Lynx. Maybe Lynx would be good. We're kind of just getting a little bit of everything here. We got scaling, we got snipes, we got ailments. It's working. I'll tell you that much. We go here. Maybe gingerbread. Well, definitely gingerbread. I just don't know on who yet. Beluga's kind of tempting here. If we get rid of the frost wolf. I know he's pretty big. But I feel like Beluga's going to be a late game. We don't really want a penguin on him. <laughs> Maybe we rock it like this. Snipe, 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 snipe. Y'all ever watch Harry Potter Puppet Pals? <laughs> Just made me think of it when I said snipe. Snape. Snape. Ever is Snape. Okay. We can go here. We can eat the Niala. Because that's just pretty good. We don't have any tier 6s. I don't know if Lynx is actually worthwhile. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I think Lynx is worthwhile. Okay. I don't think this is a lionfish kind of angle. We've already got our, our scaling homies. But I do think Beluga's... Beluga's got something for us. We just we just need to th flesh it out a little, I think. Okay, he's gonna have a huge dog. Just kidding, it wasn't that big. We go here. I mean, Hammerhead would be nice. Don't feel like we really need a Hammerhead. Um, Tapir? Probably not. If we can get Lynx to level 3, I'd consider selling Guinea Pig. As crazy as that sounds. Though he is huge, so maybe not. Okay, that was a good snipe by our Lynx. That'll do. Okay. Now what if we lead with you? I need, maybe we walrus on the beluga, you know?
We did find a level 3. High key though, if we're getting rid of anybody, it's gotta be Moth, right? Because he's, he's pretty far under the guinea pig, and the 4 attack doesn't do that much. I just can't tell if it's worth it, <laughs> you know? Is it worth ditching the Moth for a Walrus? If it goes on the right guy, yeah. But if it doesn't, then probably not. Okay. I think I'm fine just eating the... the Walrus with the Beluga. Ooh, okay, hold on. Hold that thought. Or even getting rid of the Dragonfly, let's be real. We just need a little oomph to get over that hump. Get it? Hump? Because camel? <laughs> so funny. Alright, we probably should have had it like that. In hindsight. Okay, so let's do... Yeah, I'm down to do this. We go here. Roll me. We could Stegosaurus. It'll hit the moth. Is that better? Is 1313 better than a permanent 6 6 spread out? Depends how long we live. <laughs> That's the question. Maybe we try this. So you're going to summon a walrus, who hopefully gives a bunch of good peanut perks to everybody. Oh yeah, dude, I think we're fine. I think we're going to be a-okay. <laughs> I love it. I love that Beluga can switch around whenever you feel like it. Like first we had a Niala in there as a little stand-in until we got to level 6 or tier 6 walrus and it just seals the deal. Some dizzy buttocks. Lost in the sauce, you know. Brother, you can't run a mouse on turn 1. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alright, we go here. I don't mind double stacking you. These guys suck. Okay. This is the gradient that we're looking for. Um, I think we're okay here. Lovely. Two wins in a row. That is not boding well. I think as soon as you get an early lead, you're just destined for failure. Because <laughs> you're gonna go against these homies. Just kidding, he has a mouse. We're good. Dang, 710. Okay, level you. Throw in a dolphin. Maybe. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I think we keep the camel up front. And we order it like this. Um, actually do it like this, I think. No, I like that. Just kidding. If the camel didn't buff behind him, I would do the other way. But we can still trade up here. Yeah, okay. I like that better. I mean, definitely garlic on you two. Roll me. Links ain't too bad. We'll wait for next turn though. No need to rush. Mm, we draw. A little scary. That was a very strong team. I think we'd rather have axe handle here. Sure. Not what I was hoping for. I think we just roll it out. 
I can't believe we haven't found a single other camel. That's a little bit alarming. Might have to ditch the camel here soon. That is highly unfortunate. Okay, camel's gone. Level you. And there's a beluga if we want it. Maybe we try it out. There are some pretty solid combinations to go with the beluga this weekly. Make sure we're going in the right order here. The only issue I have with it is all of the really good combos with the beluga. I love that all the weaknesses dodged our bunyip. Not that it mattered. But all the good ones to go with the beluga are pretty high tier. Um, let's do this. I think. This is just the perfect transition throughout throughout the whole week. Well, can't beat that guy. We could have actually, but you know, getting going for like a big homie in the start, pivoting into snipes, and then pivoting into something else. Just seems really solid. Monkey is great. Don't mind if I do. We could have Beluga eat a Vaquita to make sure it doesn't get sniped. That could be interesting. Maybe not yet, but... I mean, straight up. I'll run it. <laughs> I'll do it. I guess we actually want it like this. In case the 4-4 monkey can get it done. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Roller coaster. Roller coaster of emotions right there. I'm so glad we sniped that scorpion. I hate when they do that. Get the cheeky little plays off. Um, hold on to you. Dragonfly ain't too bad, to be honest. I think we want Beluga up front and start getting the monkey scaling. Do we ditch the Lynx? We go here. Maybe run a Nurikabe. Maybe we don't even do Dragonfly? Is that too much sauce? Entirely possible. But I mean, you gotta try it, right? We got three hearts. We can afford to be a little saucy. Tell me it didn't work. <laughs> Tell me it don't work. All right, we probably don't need a Nurikabe on the Beluga. Let's see who we want to get. I mean, Niala's always a good option. Hmm. Sabertooth, Walrus, Lionfish, all potential. And there's a Lionfish. There's a Walrus. Probably go Walrus, considering our team. <laughs> you know, all things considered. Walrus might be the way to do it. Hold on to the chocolate. Okay. Man, we're not finding many high... high quality pets over here. Bang. Boom goes the dynamite. We could Cerberus and combine the monkeys, or we could just full send monkey scaling on our Beluga. <laughs> oh, 
I'll hold on to the Cerberus because I do think it's good. We can go combine these guys eventually and go Cerberus with a bear or something. That one's pretty solid. And then let's do... We do it like this. I'd like to get another Beluga, if possible. I mean, just look how strong this is. Does anyone think Monkey needs a nerf? I don't want to say it. I don't really want Monkey to get a nerf. But sometimes it feels like he might need one. That was a little unlucky with the peanut. Okay. I think we combine here. Do a little Cerberus stack action. So you gotta be careful. If we do orange and it hits Beluga, you're gonna eat a tapir. <laughs> we wanna make sure we don't do that. Ooh, fantastic. Now I'm curious. Do the Cerberus, like, step on each other's toes, so to speak? Or do they play nicely? I guess we'll find out. Okay, they do play nice. We keep getting these horrible peanut hits. Hopefully getting the level 2 on our Beluga is going to help with that. And I think we do this. We can throw in a Niala up front now. Next turn we can get him cooked up. Sure. Okay, how is this gonna do? I'm telling you, dude, there's some of the worst peanut hits I've ever seen. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Anyway, level me here. I mean, I think we just keep the monkeys here. They're doing well for us. All right, and if, if we draw this turn, we'll combine monkeys and throw in a bear. But something tells me we're probably not gonna. Roll me. You hate to see it. The big Nurikabe. I mean, it shows off the Beluga, I think, pretty well. I don't know, I feel like Cerberus ain't that good. With the bear, maybe it would have been, but it just doesn't seem to do enough. <laughs> it's one of those, like, an 8-8 bamming into a ginormous homie doesn't do all that much for you. Ignoring the Cerberus. For Beluga, what do you think? What is the best thing for a Beluga to eat? Maybe we'll have to try that one. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.